This week in the Missouri Senate, we review another issue that may return in 2021. As you saw, it was a bipartisan vote. A priority in the legislature with getting local control. Police reform was part of the focus of the first extraordinary session of the 100th General Assembly earlier this year. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Caleb Rodden of Columbia says he has been involved in a series of meetings on this topic. We've had a couple of those meetings. I think those meetings have been productive. Are we going to agree on everything? No. But I do think both sides have understood, as those conversations have unfolded, have understood kind of the context of each other's argument a little bit better. And I do think that there will be some consensus that's formed on some issues. You know, we couldn't do them here because of the nature of a a special session call. But I do think that we're going to continue to work to try to get some of those things across the finish line during regular session next year. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Kansas City says police reform will be part of next year's session. I think that there is a possibility of doing that. I will also say that there are many promises that are made in this building from session to session, and we will see if it comes to fruition. But I also know we'll be taking up issues with the Kansas City Police Department more than likely next year as well. So we will have some amount of leverage to get some real police reforms that Senator Williams and some of the other members of the caucus have really worked on and done a really good job. He's put sensible reforms out there that I think our entire caucus supports. Senator Rowden mentions part of the original Senate bill from the first extra session contained data collection. Let's collect that information, make sure that the interested stakeholders, in this case the juvenile officers, the the judges, etc., and and the General Assembly as well, has access to that data so that we can understand in a better context and under a bigger umbrella which kids are being certified, is the process working the way that we've designed. I think judges having that information can be relevant as far as context when they're making their decisions. In an age where we have access to information, I think using that information to inform better outcomes is definitely a good thing. Senator Brian Williams of University City says there are still concerns over juvenile certification. Depending on the judge, you know, you're traveling in a more conservative part of the state. That judge may have a completely different opinion than a judge that may be familiar with more crimes in St. Louis. And I think that it just opens up a Pandora's box in terms of unintended consequences. I mean, I'm hopeful that we'll have judges that'll make the right decision, but knowing that they still have element that could send a young child away for the rest of their lives for making a mistake that I believe a lot of folks have an opportunity to make at very young ages. The 2021 session will start in January. In the meantime, the current extra session remains on hold due to concerns over the coronavirus. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.